Welcome to Watch Mojo, and today we're counting down our picks for the top 10 evil toys in movies. Ignore him, Sylvester. Just ignore him. I am the one who gives orders around here. He's only. He'll go, please. <laughs> Whoa there, Missy. You're not going anywhere. For this list, we're looking at cinema's most wicked dolls, sinister dummies, and vile toys. What do you think is an underrated creepy doll movie? Let us know in the comments. Number 10. The Clown Doll. Poltergeist. Clowns, dolls, and evil spirits. Why settle for just one when all three are available? They're here. Considering Poltergeist manages to make static on a TV screen unsettling, it's hardly surprising that the film creates magic with a far more menacing prop. <laughs> Despite only appearing for a handful of scenes, the clown doll leaves quite an impression. In the doll's famous attack scene, Poltergeist masterfully builds tension, letting the audience's imagination run wild before delivering an incredible scare. The 2015 remake also includes an evil clown doll, but the toy doesn't quite recapture the terror of the original version. <laughs> Number 9. The Clown Krampus Despite the film's title, Krampus might not even be the scariest creature in this twisted Christmas tale. The Engel family find themselves being hunted by all sorts of demonic entities, many of which turn seemingly harmless items into pants-ruining abominations. <laughs> sequence that features a grizzly teddy bear, a bloodthirsty puppet, and armed gingerbread men, the clown stands out as the cherry of this rotten Sunday. A jack who has grown way too big for his box, the clown swallows kids whole and has a blast doing it. A haunting porcelain mask paves the way to an expansive mouth that will inspire most people to scream out in fear. <laughs> Number 8. Major Chip Hazard and the Commando Elite Small Soldiers Created specifically to take out the enemy, Major Chip Hazard and his Commando Elite are heroes in their own minds. It's a small world after all. Small Soldiers flips the human versus monster concept on its head, pitting the toy soldiers as the sadistic villains who will show no mercy to Archer and the Gorgonites. A speech-giving, monster-hating, Tommy Lee Jones-sounding sadist, Chip Hazard is not designed to have a single shred of remorse. There will be no mercy. Search the area and secure new arms. Commandos, full yeah! The Major loves wiping out Gorgonites a species Hazard sees as an inferior enemy who has no place in any world. The Commando Elites are also perfectly fine with attacking humans. School's out, loser. Hi -ya! <laughs> Number 7. Zuni Fetish Doll Trilogy of Terror Franchise Amelia is comfortably the most famous segment of the Trilogy of Terror and has a pint-sized villain to thank for it. Amelia receives a strange Zuni fetish doll, one that happens to hold the spirit of a hunter called He Who Kills. It's really interesting. There's supposed to be some Zuni hunter's spirit inside of it. <laughs> and um, there's a golden chain wrapped around it to keep the spirit from making the doll come to life. Naturally, it doesn't take long for the doll to spring to life, pick up a knife and go hunting. The He Who Kills lives up to his reputation, as this is a doll that radiates malice and evilness out of every fibre of its being. <laughs> this doll was such a hit, the hunter made a comeback in 1996's sequel movie. <laughs> Number 6. The Puppets – Puppet Master Franchise with 14 movies and counting, the Puppet Master franchise has seen its many titular toys wear plenty of different hats. I'm going to hide you While not completely subservient, the puppets generally reflect the morality and wishes of their masters. 
Consequently, Blade and Friends sometimes came across as anti-villains. <laughs> In the original Puppet Master and its immediate sequel, the puppets are especially cruel, performing violent murders with no hesitation. The puppets rarely care for the lives of others and will happily bump off a few researchers for their master, although the toys do not take betrayal lightly. Number 5. Mary Shaw's Dolls dead silence. It's not the dummy, but the ventriloquist that people should fear. James Wan's dead silence revolves around the spirit of Mary Shaw, a ventriloquist who is murdered and promptly starts to do a bit of haunting. As a conduit for her hatred, Mary relies on her many dolls, with Billy often taking center stage. But that can't be true. There's no way you'd give me all the good lines. Shaw's spirit is pure evil, committing plenty of violent murders along the way. Your voice is mine now, Henry. The various dummies in Dead Silence are an extension of Mary, including a couple of rather big creations that do not reveal themselves until the movie's conclusion. Now, who's the dummy? <laughs> Number 4. Slappy the Dummy Goosebumps franchise I think it's time I started pulling the strings in this relationship. Tonight is gonna be the best story you've ever written. All of your children are coming up to play. One of Goosebumps' greatest villains, most 90s kids do not need to be introduced to Slappy the Dummy. Wisely, both movies push Slappy to the forefront, presenting the manipulative dummy as the main threat. Papa, you left without saying goodbye. Trying to hide from me? That's like hiding from yourself! I was your best friend! and you turned your back on me! Despite having a somewhat sympathetic backstory as a friend who was locked away by Stein, Slappy's abandonment issues typically inspire schemes to unleash monsters, hijack families, and destroy cities. Slappy also doesn't limit his revenge to just Stein, being more than happy to drag everyone else into the mayhem. While he might initially play nice, Slappy is dangerous and thrives on spreading chaos and pain. I'm going to do what Stein couldn't. Finish this book once and for all. <laughs> <laughs> Number three, Annabelle, The Conjuring franchise. It started out small, like a hand or a leg was in a different position. This doll just screams haunted. Introduced in The Conjuring before really coming into its own in the Annabelle movies, this porcelain doll serves as the vessel for a sinister demon. <coughs> Summoned by two grieving parents, this demon takes possession of the Annabelle doll and spends the next few years terrorizing anyone it can. Linda! <coughs> you can help me? The Annabelle demon is not just capable of taking over human hosts that can go on to form cults, but it has a track record of controlling other spirits that are each capable of inspiring nightmares. I like your dolls. <laughs> the doll itself might be nothing more than an inanimate object, but it's actually creepier than the demon's real form. Number 2. Lotso Huggin' Bear Toy Story 3. Kian, what's going on here? Considering Toy Story 2 had Stinky Pete and a toy with evil in its name, Pixar's sequel needed to produce something special with its villain. Lotso used to be a cuddly teddy bear before he was forgotten and replaced by his owner. Something changed that day inside Lotso. Something snapped. She replaced us. Come on. No, she only replaced you. She replaced all of us. Didn't she? This experience left behind a hatred-filled toy that strives to make everyone else feel equally as hopeless. At Sunnyside, Lotso is a tyrant who turns the daycare into a prison that punishes hope, friendship, 
and kindness. Any traces of good in Lotso are long gone by the time Woody and the gang arrive at Sunnyside. Well, here's the thing, sweet potato. You ain't leaving Sunnyside. Sweet potato? Who do you think you're talking to? I have over 30 accessories and I deserve more respect. Ah, that's better. <laughs> Before we unveil our top pick, here are a few honorable mentions. Hugo, Dead of Night because this ventriloquist's dummy set the standard for all future dummies. We've never played to a murderer before, have we? I know, Okey. Is that a policeman out? Demonic Toys. Demonic Toys franchise. Because their branding is not false marketing. Don't look now. Dolly. Dolly Dearest. Because Doll Factory plus Nearby Tomb naturally results in evil toys. Oh goody, we're going for a ride. <sighs> Brahms. Brahms, the boy too. Because this toy keeps its evil so well hidden, even the first movie didn't notice it. Before we continue, be sure to subscribe to our channel and ring the bell to get notified about our latest videos. You have the option to be notified for occasional videos or all of them. If you're on your phone, make sure you go into your settings and switch on notifications. Number one, Chucky, Child's Play franchise. Hello, John. Over here. Hi. It's me, Chucky. What do you think? Chucky has been a mainstay of the slasher genre since the late 80s, proving that he should really come with a warning label. Ever since Charles Lee Ray possessed the spirit of a good guy doll, Chucky has been racking up a huge body count while usually trying to take a human body. This is it, world. From now on, no more Mr. Good Guy. Deranged, psychotic, and sadistic, Chucky has stayed true to his murdering ways throughout his entire career, even after the doll gets himself a family. Konnichiwa, Okusan, Otusan. What? No, you. We, you didn't, we didn't. Chucky is an irredeemable monster, a being with not even the slightest shred of empathy or humanity. The evil toy is also really entertaining, delivering thrills and laughs in equal measure. I'm one of the most notorious slashers in history, and I don't want to give that up. I am Chucky, the killer dog, and I dig it. Do you agree with our picks? Check out this other recent clip from WatchMojo, and be sure to subscribe and ring the bell to be notified about our latest videos.